How's it going, guys? Sauce the boss back here, and we are at the same spot we left off with the drink. So let's drink this and see what happens. Uh, this is part six for the Assassin's Creed Let's Play. And he chugged that thing down. That drink looks good. <laughs> What's happening? Hello? All right, what is this? Natus, Totus, Mortis. I do not know what that means, but. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, that was the uh, Elise's dad, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. This is confusing. <laughs> now, where am I? his father and the second one right there. What? Well, this is creepy. That is creepy. And all of them are turning to look at me. That is just creepy. Right, what do I have to do? What is that red dot mean? He needs to kill him. Oh yeah, I forgot. Alright, I'm gonna go up behind him. Assassinated. supposed to be? Is that supposed to be someone special or, or just a random person?
These are the words spoken by our ancestors. The words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Hey, we're an assassin now. And I'm getting that blade now. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world. His sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. All right, memory completed. That's memory two. All right, let's continue. These loading screens take a while. No, I don't know why. This needs to hurry up. Alright, there we go. It's almost done. Any day now. There we go. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Aftergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good All choice. Right, so Welcome to the assassins. Initiate. What is happening here? Level 5 security clearance only. It's a federal. Oh, I couldn't read that. For internal use only. Abstergo Industries. In the 1950s, it was right, theorized that human here? DNA oh, it's worked me, via the like triple the helix model. Of the Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson thing, demolished this explain, theory but, yeah, in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. Alright, well that was strange. 
but yeah guys uh that's the end of this video uh thank you for joining uh like comment subscribe like so always oh wait never mind Let's last year a scare girl acquired the body of a man we call a sage one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient dna this sparked a search for more sages in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arno came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. the next sequence all right well now i'm gonna be getting off uh thank you for watching this video like comment subscribe and we're going to leave off where we are at paris january 4 1791 so thank you for joining and i'll see you guys on part seven